have seen demons like you would not believe. And that's your cue, guys, to say thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. We've really got to get going now. I'm back with the Brits today with Exploring with Fighters. Such a dumb name. But more importantly, Josh is also in this video. Now, for those of you who don't know, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Josh knows who I am and I'm his favourite debunker. Hey, Wacker, 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 Wacky Paranormal! Did you hear what Josh said about me? No, I didn't hear about that, side that guy. I suppose, uh, good for you. Uh, well done. What, what the hell? Yeah. He's jealous. Oh, and Adrian Brody's love child also messaged me, and he's in this video too. And a shout out for Mad Mountain Pain for sharing this video with me. Some of you are probably thinking I'm stalking Josh, but I already had this video planned. Just ask my patrons who voted for me to react to Exploring with Fighters. Such a dumb name. So if you want to say in which channels I react to, please consider supporting me by getting a YouTube membership or going to my Patreon. Links in the description. So in this video, we're at Pendle Hill in Lancaster, England. This area has a deep history with women who were accused of being witches back in the 1600s. I mean, I warned you, Pendle witches, how long has it been? Wait, five know. years? There's witches here? If Seth doesn't know this area is known for witches, then it's clear to me that nobody talks to Seth. How can you fly to England to collaborate with other English ghost hunters and they don't even tell you a single thing about the location you're going to be filming at until you actually arrive there? Hmm. Yeah. So I've been trying to bring I've been trying to bring Josh here for five years. Yeah, you've been trying to come here for well, five years. Well, back then I didn't do ghost videos, or I didn't even believe in ghosts, or I didn't even believe in ghosts, or I didn't even believe in ghosts. Of all the crazy claims you're gonna hear in this video, Josh at one point in his life not believing in ghosts might be the hardest to believe. This like what's so going on? cool. This looks like like a legit medieval castle. This is Clitheroe Castle. It actually is medieval. We have a guy named Simon who's meeting us literally right here by the steps. Simon is amazing. Just amazing. I'm not being sarcastic or ironic or a dickhead here like usual. He is straight up amazing. Simon is like the uncle we all wish we had. No matter how great you think your uncle is, he ain't got shit on Simon. Uh, one of the most famous landmarks relating to the Pendle Witches. Yes. Here we go. Would you like to hear Here the story? Yes. Oh, yeah. As cliche as it sounds, he really does bring the history to life. He recreates the story so well. He does voices from different historical people and acts out the situations they're in really well. So much so that I find myself getting angry every time he gets interrupted with dumb questions by Seth and Josh. We're here Very to good. actually talk to witches tonight. Flew here from the United States to try to like contact the witches Very good. of Pendle Hill. Shush, you! Pipe down, Josh. Nobody wants to hear your BS right now. I don't really mean it, Josh. Hey, Shape, did you hear what Josh said about me? Man, exploring with Josh, he's been in my comments for years, man. He, comments for years? Back and forth. He's a real respectful guy, man. I think he's yeah, respectful. He, you know, he's commented about him and his buddies, you know, drinking a few beers and mm -hmm. just sitting back watching a Shape video and just laughing shape and having video. a good time. You know, stuff like that means a lot. May not to some people, but it means a lot to me. And, you know, he's donated to the channel. Donated? A couple times. He's A couple of times? Dude's always respectful. Uh, yeah, we have a pretty good back and forth. I didn't get any donations. Ah, uh, memories, man. I feel as if him and I are friends. Friends. You know? Crazy. He's a really good guy. We, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't need to hear about all that, mate. But we don't, we don't. Hey, back, back off, shape. Back off. Josh is mine. And our story starts on top of Pendle Hill way back on the 18th of March, 1612, when Alison Device, she is the granddaughter of Elizabeth Southern, she's 14 years old, had a walk along the length of Pendle Hill and had the misfortune of meeting a Halifax peddler called John Law. When I say peddler, John Law was basically a walking salesman. Sir, please, sir, you can spare just a few pins to pin me clothing together, sir. Get away with you, shouted John Law. I'm not taking me pack off for you, lass. You've got no money. You're no use to me. Please, sir, you can spare just a few pence. Get away with you. 
The charismatic and entertaining Simon is at the start of the Exploring with Fighters original video, and I urge everyone to at very least watch this part of the original video because he gives a full history lesson, and it is fantastic. Up to you, of course, if you want to stick around for the rest of the nonsense in the video. It's you! You're the witch! You cursed me last, didn't you? That dog you had! I heard it talk! You're leave it down, aren't you? This 14-year-old girl, on bended knees, begged and begged forgiveness. She had no idea. She had just confessed to a state capital offence of witchcraft. It's such a shame exploring with fighters. What a dumb name. Do not put any contact details for Simon in the description. Oddly, there isn't a description for this video at all. If Simon has a YouTube channel, can someone please let me know? I'd sub in a heartbeat. I've got, I've got a good question for you. Yeah. So if you think these are not witches, do you believe that they could haunt this place based on the reasons why they were executed wrongfully? Do you think they continue to haunt this place because of that? Funny how times have changed. If I had asked that question to one of my teachers when I was a kid, they would have just told me to sit down and shut up. Side eye boy, do sit down and shut up. That's a fantastic question. Is it Simon? Is it really? There's no twist about it. In my view, I can see a miscarriage of justice. Mm. I can see greed from the local magistrate who knew about the king's paranoia. We've got the king who's paranoid. Uh, Simon does a good job answering this question without really answering it. He clearly doesn't believe in ghosts. He just loves the history. The story here is either they're either innocent people that were wrongfully executed or we're actually trying to contact really vengeful witches. Yeah, right. but either way, they're, they're gonna be they're gonna be here, and they're they're pretty annoyed. The moment the ghost hunters start talking, I just get a migraine. Anyway, that's all we see of Simon. They don't even give him a proper send off in the video like he deserves. It all goes downhill from here now that Simon's gone. Right, okay, we've made it to the new church in Pendle, and I have some amazing new equipment to show you. Look at these two bad boys, and these are not completely filled just yet. But they do have a hell of a lot of cool stuff. So we've got sage, we've got different crystals and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And in between the sage and the crystals is my snake oil. And to the left of that, I have my bottle of bullshit. And right here, I have my big bucket of bollocks. Don't even ask how I got my hands on that. Check out this, Josh. What is that? This is just another another REM part, but <laughs> custom made. I've never seen that. Custom made. No one has anything like this. The things people brag about really blows my mind sometimes. It's like showing off you got a motorbike with really great air conditioning. It's useless. Speaking of useless. And this one we've got a lot of lighting stuff, batteries going everywhere, but we've got panel lights, we've got Polaroid camera. Yeah. Pol old school one. Uh, CCTV camera, some other crystals, yeah. Bunch of cool stuff. SLS camera. Thank God. SLS camera. I've now got an SLS camera. Thank God. And we've got the full spectrum camera. Thank God. Oh, you have no idea. Some serious money must have been donated to these guys. It is crazy to be able to afford all this. And yeah, before anyone says, Side Eye Guy, stop being jealous. Fuck you. I'm being honest. I'm jealous. I'll give Dan credit, he must reinvest most of his donations into top-of-the-line nonsense equipment to help him with his nonsense content. Because we're ghost hunters. Do you know it's not a graveyard? Sorry, it's not a graveyard? No. What is it? It's a churchyard. Oh yeah, but it's a graveyard. No, it's not. It's a churchyard. Okay. Do you know what a churchyard is? So this little altercation with the local gets pretty interesting. But just for clarification, most British churchyards are also graveyards. So back in the day, that's where the dead were mostly buried. So this lady has shades of Karen, but she's by no means a full-blow Karen, at least not in my opinion. But the comments in the Exploring With Fighters original video would have you believe she is mega Karen. God, it's such... I, I can't get over what a dumb... Who calls their channel Exploring With Fighters? It's not a place for people like you to mess about. It's not It's not public, it's private. Right, okay. It belongs to the Church of England. She has some points here. In England, churchyards are not 
technically public land. They can be public easements, but they are not actually public land, they are owned by the church. However, it is only the landowner or someone with authority to the land who can issue a trespass in Britain. And also, trespass falls under civil law and not criminal law, but we're not getting into all that here because it gets pretty boring. Also, although Dan doesn't actually confirm this, it does sound like he did get permission from the priest of the church that they were going to be filming in the courtyard. And if this is correct, he would have had permission to be there. But again, he doesn't actually confirm this. He just sort of alludes to it. And it is not a place for you to play games. Oh, this is not games. It is games, though, isn't it? Let's be honest now. That's a silly, stupid game. We're actually doing a documentary on Alice Nutter. Alice Nutter wasn't a bloody witch. I know, uh, no, we're not told, telling the story so of a why witch. So why, why do you need to do this? Because this is what we do. Why? I feel like this is the first time Dan has ever been asked this very simple but direct question. But you are going into a religious place where people... Showing the utmost respect. Yeah, are you though? I'm not saying you're necessarily being disrespectful, but the utmost respect would probably just be you lot going home. Respectfully, respectfully. You're terrible. The people who live round here care about the people who are buried there. Right, okay. They want them to rest in peace. What they don't want is people coming and using our village and our private churchyard for thrills and spills. So far, it's hard to argue against her. You, you could get the police involved if you like. You could ring the police and they'll, they'll tell you that we're allowed in there. You are not allowed in. The vicar doesn't want you there, so how are you allowed in? Well, the police will tell you if we're not or not. If we well, are you're or not allowed. Why are we locking it up? Guys, are you sure you want to get the police involved? Why are you so angry then? Because it's I a Friday night. Because I respect other people's religion. Respecting religion is not really a ghost hunter's forte. I respect all religions. Shut the yeah. fuck up! Because I respect the fact that this is private, hallowed ground, and you should not be going in there. People are buried there to rest in peace. I respect that you don't. Oh, we do. No, you don't. You don't know us, guys. I don't know you either. I don't actually need to know someone to make a judgement on them. I can do that by their actions, and to be fair, what you are doing could easily be seen as disrespectful towards those who have died. What I'm about to say is coming from an atheist, but there are levels of respect. Do's and don'ts that should be shown in a burial site. Filming a YouTube video is a don't. You're pretty much saying we can't walk into a graveyard. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, she is saying you shouldn't be filming at night. I doubt she would have an issue if you were actually going to pay respects to a grave. We're only going to one location, the graveyard, to which is to but where Alice Nutter. Nutter isn't there. But that's what we're telling the story about, how there was a conspiracy that a body was taken from Lancaster and put there. But why do you have to keep saying it? We all know it. Well, no, not <laughs> yes, millions, do. millions of people online yes, don't. Do. Whether Alice Nutter is buried there or not is irrelevant. It's actually irrelevant. Because well, it is because we're telling the story about her and how she was wrongfully convicted of witchcraft. Exactly. We don't want people coming up here and vandalizing graves for no reason. And this is where the whole interaction goes into a big grey area. Because I don't think these guys are necessarily wrong here. They do have a huge reach. And if you take what they say as truth, which I personally do actually, they are looking to show the truth of what happened to Alice Nutter. There are so many examples where ghost hunters focus on the myth instead of the real history. I'm looking at you, Conjuring House. But Exploring with Fighters, such a dumb name, seem to actually want to expose the truth. So with that being said, as long as they're not being a typical screaming dickhead YouTuber, I'm looking at you, Twin Paranormal. I personally think they should be given a pass to film in the churchyard. I have written a book. I, I have written a novel about this area. Yes, dear viewer, this is the first signs of why I am calling this lady a softcore Karen. For her to reveal this information unprovoked is a red flag. Wrote a book. Book that I wrote and published. I literally wrote the book on it. I wrote on the cover of my book. We're not doing anything wrong, though. We're yeah, you're here to you came in judging hard. hard. She did come in judging hard, but to be fair, YouTubers are the worst. I guess I'm technically a YouTuber, albeit a small one, and yeah, I'm the worst. But Josh, 
he doesn't think I'm the worst because I'm his favourite debunker. Hey, paranormal party pooper, did you read Josh's comment? Side-eye guy. I thought you didn't call yourself a debunker. Look what Josh called you. Josh can call me whatever he likes. Okay. I'll tell you why I'm tooting hard. Because we are inundated with this. You don't understand what it's like to live here. You don't understand what it's like to live with it. We are inundated with people doing seances, trying to raise the oh, dead. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't agree with It doesn't with matter, like but from my yeah. point of view, yeah, I'm tired of it. It does get more complicated because I totally understand where she's coming from. If I lived somewhere where this kind of thing was happening regularly, it would do my head in too. Alice Nutter would be ashamed that she can't have a story told because she was wrongfully convicted. She was a powerful woman. How she was she was every, a rich woman. How is she supposed to rest peacefully when people don't know the truth? That's and why I think she's a witch. You know what? The people around here, all the people who live in this village, all of us, we know that. Yeah, but not. The, yeah, yeah, but, but you are not entitled to keep that from from the world. This is why I say she has shades of Karen in her, but she's by no means a full blown Karen. Dan is right here, and I think it's only fair to add, as angry as she got with him at the start, all of these guys did their best to de-escalate the situation. No one really screamed at her, no one really matched her energy, everyone was pretty patient with her, and it kind of calmed everything down. So credit where credit is due, well done there, fellas. You don't have to do it at night, do it during the day. So if you came back in the day, you'd be fine? Yeah, I would. What? What difference does that make? Because make you're not disturbing the village at night, you disturb me tonight. You say you're not disturbing people, well, you've disturbed me. I mean... So, all right, you, 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 you know, come on, let's talk about spirituality, right? Yeah, it all starts to get a little bit silly at this point. It's less about her being angry at the ghost hunters disturbing the village and more about her just wanting to keep this altercation going because she enjoys the cameras being on her. Do you actually believe... Have you actually seen a spirit? I'm asking you this. Not in person. Christ almighty, well, I have. Yeah, Josh's face kind of says it all, really. What is your book? What is it? Your book. What is it? <laughs> I get the feeling she's been hoping they'd ask her this ever since she brought up the book. What's, What's it your called? name for the book? I, I'm just, it's, it, I'd like to read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, cool. you, you've come up all yeah. guns blazing, but I'd still read I'm it. I'm a guns blazing person. Yeah, I'd like to read it because I, I, I love... She's loving this now. This is the power of attention, everybody. It's all softcore Karen needs to drop her moral standings when it comes to the other people in the village and the dead in the churchyard. Okay, I'll tell you what it's about, but I haven't published it yet. All but right. it will be published. Yeah, I'm doubting this is going to get published. Even self-published. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if this book is actually just a long text message. Your book, is it about, what, the Pendle Witches, or is it just about a magic, or...? It's about... I'll tell you what it's about. Okay, I shouldn't tell you, but I will. Of course she'll tell them. At this point, she's going to do a whole table reading if they ask. It's about... <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Gray? Did you hear that Josh... Sorry there, guys. Seriously, you got to stop with the Josh stuff. It's getting a bit tiresome. By the way, who, who names himself Side Eye Guy? We haven't seen your eyes. We don't even know which way you're looking. Hey, now. It's only funny when I do it to exploring with fighters. When you throw that back at me, nah, that, that's not funny. That's, that's not funny at all. Definitely jealous. The f*** do you say? Nothing, nothing, all the best now, bye bye, bye bye bye. I, I have, I have seen, I have seen demons like you would not believe. And that's your cue guys to say, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us, we've really got to get going now. This village used to be a happy village, yeah, until we started getting ghost hunters coming up. We've had them for years. And I'm back to sympathising with her again. Because I couldn't stress enough. If I kept seeing YouTubing ghost hunters in my community, it would do my head in. Mm. 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 They go to the quarry and they try and raise the devil. I've got videos of them raising the devil in the quarry. Oh, That's no. ridiculous because that is not... What a ghost hunter or a paranormal. Yeah, that's that's, that's a, what they that's do. That's, 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 that's not that's, that's not what dumb kids. I do. thought that's, that's not what dumb kids. I do. thought that's, that's not what dumb kids. I thought. Do. I swear, the jokes write themselves sometimes. The last lot of of ghost hunters who were up the quarry, and I didn't fall out with them. I just I was talking to them because they were Americans, and they said that they'd raised something in the quarry. 
The only thing they need to raise is their self-esteem with the views they're after. Do you want the truth? Do yeah. you want to know what I really think? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, she is. Do you think Alison is actually buried in there? I think what, she is. What makes you think that? I can sense her. You can sense her? Yeah. Right, okay. Seriously, guys, it's time to walk away now. Just walk away. I get the feeling that tonight's going to be a good night of peace. If you, I want you to go in. Damn, these fellas talked her into doing a complete 180. Thank God you guys decided to take up bullshit ghost hunting and didn't enter into bullshit politics. Have you stood before the eye in the church? The eye, no. Ah. The eye? What's that? I'll show you. She went from angry to confrontational to annoying to chatty to flattered to now a fucking tour guide. She's actually going to show them to the exact burial site that earlier she forbid them to go see. What the fuck? That they were paid to take the body. I think it is. Uh -huh. And this is the grave here. This is Alice's grave. Yeah, and as you can see here, You've got the skull and the cross there. Uh, yeah. So you believe that the quarries are where people are coming in yeah, and bringing yeah, negative energy yeah. to the surface? Yeah, okay. I do. I think they have ceremonies there. Yeah. I've seen them at night doing it sometimes. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you ever try and stop them? You can't stop it because people do what they want to do. Yeah. Right? Where was this energy 15, 20 minutes ago, my dear? What happened? Explain yourself. I find it interesting because there's so many different points of view you can take in this. Another big question I can't help but ask is if this land should belong to the people. Should it be public land? An estimate of two billion pounds is valued in real estate to the Church of England. This point is a whole can of worms that I'm not going to dive into right now because I am a silly channel that reacts to silly videos, but I do think it's something worth thinking about. Well, yeah. Um... Thank you for, you know, talking to us. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Me as well. Thank you. Well, I mean, it's uh, we definitely ended on a better note. <laughs> Well done to Dan, Seth and Josh for keeping their cool and not turning this into a much bigger drama than it could have been. Especially you, Josh. Hey, Purple, did you hear about Josh thinking I'm his favourite debunker? I give you my word, Mummy. I am not in some form of cult. Okay. Sorry, Mummy. Um, it's just a one big misunderstanding. Okay. Okay, Mummy. Tatty bye. Tatty bye, mum mums. Kiss, kiss. I am so, so, so sorry, guys. Where were we? Where were we? Right, yes, of course. Sorry, sorry. Big misunderstanding, obviously. There we go. Now we're back. Ad Coldum Paratum. Subscribers, thank you. Thank you, Coltum Diparato, Mela Sacrificio, Mando Spirito Santo, Sela Spirito Sante. Oh, Coltum Adum Perato. Eh, the cult. Adas Coltum Perato. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see any of that. But I knew something was up with him. See you later. That's it. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Nothing. <laughs> How can you not like his little face? Was Josh only allowed to collaborate with Exploring With Fighters because he's actually boxed? Oh yeah, that was a real thing. Josh did lose, but as anyone can tell you who has boxed before, getting into the ring takes guts. And he actually surprised me. He fought a lot better than I was expecting. And I'm not just saying that because he's my favorite. I guess Seth doesn't need to prove himself as a fighter since his dad killed a fucking predator. The root of all evil is coming from the quarry. And I've been to the quarry before. You've probably seen it. And, um... I didn't. Never, I never wanted to go back there again. Um, but you Sorry. know what? And I don't know. You know what? I don't mind because I said this. I said I want to experience something. Jeez. I don't know what we're gonna find here. No, in fact, I, I do know what. I'm, I just don't. I don't want to say it. 
you I think, think it's the think D word? Dog is the D word. Let's face it, you're more likely to find doggers than a demon. For non UK watchers, which I believe is a weirdly exclusive British thing, is where strangers drive to like remote locations and just hook up with each other. And it's just great. I mean, I mean, weird and wrong, weird, weird and wrong. And we are going to find something that we didn't want to find. I hope this didn't happen too close to after lockdown. There would have been a lot of pent up doggers, if you know what I mean. That's gross. <laughs> it sure is, Billy. Yeah, we, we we're we're ghost hunters. We're ghost hunters. We're not, we're not, we're not. What was that? Was that you? What the fuck was that? What? Someone scratching on the door. What? Yeah, did you not hear that? No. Bro. So it was your teeth or something? Were you grinding? Was you grinding your teeth? No, I don't grind my teeth. There was what? something, there was something back there, grinding on the, uh, it's, it's like scratching on the window. Are you already in the right? Okay, I'm going to stop it with these gross dogging jokes now, promise. Yeah, okay, right, fine. anyway, I'm just, we just need to go. Um, I don't want to wait around here for any more crazy locals. Must resist making more jokes. Wait. Can bring this? Gothic prayer? Yeah. It's a Ouija board, yeah. You might as well be holding a Monopoly board game. They're just toys. I mean, if we're going to the Devil's Forest or whatever, we need the original. The Devil probably even knows that one. The Devil probably even knows that one. Sometimes, I don't even need to make jokes. What Josh says by himself is funny enough. And the other thing that catches my attention is why would she be out here anyways? We're kind of actually far from wherever she walked from. Why would she just be out here by herself? That's, That's kind of weird, right? Careful there, Josh. That kind of critical thinking will lead to the dangerous path of common sense. And then, where would your ghost hunting career be? In tatters, Josh. Tatters, I tell ya. This is weird as in the UK, I'm sorry. I mean, it is true. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree with that. Yeah, he Dan agrees, so it's not like I'm being rude. Yeah. I mean, he's really not wrong. Yeah, I made a football joke. What of it? <laughs> this channel's getting sillier and sillier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my CCTV camera up. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, keep that, keep that one there. Keep mine there. The road, no. Leaving coins is part of the satanic ritual. But the coins are for the ritual. Yeah. That, they were left here before, so. Yeah. Set. Yeah, we, we did not leave yeah. there. Or it was change that would have fallen out of someone's pocket as they sat down on the rock for a little rest. I say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Pagans have been making offerings for centuries. This still happens around South America and Southeast Asia. People donate coins or tobacco or alcohol, things like that to show respect to the gods or the elements or the earth or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't always have to revolve around the devil. Hi, my name is Dan. Dan, Dan, the enema man. <laughs> I mean, you're no harm. Just want to communicate with you. Specifically, Dan Dyke herself. If you're out there in the shadows, we're here to speak to you. My name is Josh. My name is Seth. Guess where I'm from. I'm also from the United States of America. You know how this works. Yeah, it doesn't. Here I go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yes, clear. Oh yeah, clear as mud. Told you they're still here. And again, listen to us slowly. Yeah, I'm sure. I swear to God, I'm sure I heard Alice daughter. No. Just way. replay them. Replay them. We're gonna have to enhance these. <laughs> this is what we'll find out. <laughs> Sounds like Devil. Devil. The closest it sounds to any known language that I've ever heard are like those African tribes that do the clicks. Hey, what's your name, my man? Antoine Kupu. And what about you? Speaking of language, all the people you're trying to communicate died in the 1600s. You should be trying to communicate them like you're reciting a Shakespeare sonnet, which would have made such a funny video for you to attempt. Hey, I heard it sound like it said, Luther. 
I can't take much more of this bullshit thing. It sounded like nutter. What a great big truck full of hairy bollocks. This goes on for so long. I have edited so much out and I assure you, nothing, nothing makes any sense whatsoever. Because of course it doesn't. I mean, the question is, it's going to, I believe it's going to kick things off of past experience. If you want to make a deal with the devil, so can we make a deal? If there is anything here that does make deals, you're going to have to let us know that you're here. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. All right, so Dan said to come back here and observe, and while we're doing that, we're going to just ask questions, but just to make ourselves clear, we're not Satanists, so when we said to make a deal with the devil, we're not actually trying to make a deal with the devil, though we did say it. Oh, you devil tease you. Hey, Crow, guess what Josh said? Oh my God, you British twat. Nobody gives a fuck about exploring with Josh. Would you please shut the fuck up for the love of God? Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. No more Josh talk. Promise. Maybe I let it go to my head. I don't even know how to do anything Satanist or do, I'm not educated in that realm anyways, but regardless, whatever. Tell you what, I had my fingers crossed when he said that uh, we were going to make a deal. So, I mean, I didn't have mine, but I should, probably should have. No, in my head, I'm like, no, I'm not making any deal. No, and all, all <laughs> we probably should, we're not. We we're... probably should. They go to the quarry and they try and raise the devil. I've got videos of them raising the devil in the quarry. Oh, That's no. ridiculous, because that is not what a ghost hunter or a paranormal yeah that's that's, that's, that's what they do that's, 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 that's not too, that's, that's not dumb kids I, do. thought so. I keep coming back to this same point in all my ghost hunting videos where they mess around with devils and demons if you really believe this stuff you wouldn't be messing around with it i don't believe in it so it doesn't really bother me but if you do believe in it it makes no sense to me why you would mess around with it um like not do that though i mean i just want to make it clear that I do not want to make a deal with the devil. It's not my intention at all. So can we make a deal? So can we make a deal? So can we make a deal? That is so stupid! Josh yeah. continues to test Chef Ramsay's patience. What the f is he doing? What? You're pushing me to the fucking limit, big boy, huh? What a fucking bozo! Now they're maybe they got our attention because we brought it up. I'm gonna go a little closer, just straight. Ask something, Seth. Go get her, Seth. Are you are you happy that we moved out of your spot? Is Holy do you shit. do you want one of us? Whoa, uh, this is awkward. Um, sorry if I misled you here, Josh, but I don't see you that way. I think you're great, but not like that. As long as we don't tell Crow, I still hope I'm your favorite debunker. You're like one of those little string dolls. It's part with Josh. It's part with Josh. It's part with Josh. Will you please shut up already? Okay, okay, Crow. Calm down. Sorry. Maybe the debunkers are right. Maybe I've let this Josh thing go to my head. Thank you for your brutal honesty, guys. I'm okay now. So... Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know how much more of the spirit box I can take. I hate the spirit box. I hate it more than a cup of soup. And God, I hate a cup of soup. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What did that just say? It said, welcome to what? Welcome to the jungle. Whoa, 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 that was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're both, they're both. Whoa, the ball is in time. Yo. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, uh, so what? Is there someone evil with us? I tell you now, we are not, al we are not alone. Shit. Ah! What? 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 I don't know. What? What the, know. What the hell? Are you my good? back. I don't know. Bro, 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 what did you just do then? Bro, I what? I anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. Like, like a scratch, like an actual, like, like a dagger. No, fuck you. No, I swear to God. Hmm. Holy oh my fuck. God. Like, for real? Josh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Josh. No, I'm not. Dude. Josh. Like, fuck, you're not no, fucking no, real. Dude, Josh. No, dude. I'm not hold kidding. on, hold on, hold on a second. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, 
Bro, I promise, I was just with you. Like, I, you guys see me this whole time. So it looks to me, either Dan or Seth scratched Josh's back, because I don't think you could do that kind of scratch by yourself. I've got no doubt it is a scratch. So I guess the question you've got to ask is, what's more likely, Seth or Dan scratching Josh's back when the cameras were turned off, or a supernatural entity? Gee, let me think. Okay, so I've actually kind of liked this video. Dan, Seth, and Josh have been enjoyable to watch for the most part. Simon was so great at the start of the video, and they handle softcore Karen really well. It's a bit of a shame they have to finish the whole video off with this scratch nonsense. Anyway, this is pretty much where the video ends. They pack all their gear up, and then they go sage their car for some reason. Let me know in the comments what you think the scratch marks were. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know if there are any other ghost hunting videos you'd like me to review. Cheerio!